Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Decided to take advantage of it not raining here in central Pennsylvania and do this outdoor Christmas video to show you the outside stuff. It has been raining nonstop since the day after Christmas. So we finally got a break and we'll start over here. These three and the Santa and reindeer all came from the same house. They came from the bee collection. She had them in her basement and we got them and we bought the collection for the store and these guys came to live with me. We're gonna scroll over here and check these guys out. This big guy I bought from my friend Becky when she had a booth and he kind of hangs out here. He's missed some paint, but shows that he's old this is actually a family heirloom this actually was purchased by my grandma in 1964 i have a picture of it when she bought it she always put it in front of her house she actually sold it at a yard sale and about 10 years later i went to the lady's yard sale unknowing to me and here's frosty and i asked her where she got it and she told me and so he came back to live with us he's got some issues but he's got a lot of love he's got this little snowman and this lamp here the deer came from bedford street antiques last year and we're gonna scroll over here the big card or the big wood santa i've had for probably 20 years that was one of the first pieces i bought for outside Got him at an auction. He, again, he's got a couple of issues, but most of these guys do. Um, a lot of the blow molds are not perfect. And if you do find them perfect, you're paying crazy amounts for them. So I like that they have a little bit of character. Let me just go over here to the wreath on the door. This was purchased on Etsy about five years ago. I do recommend if you want to get one of these wreaths made out of vintage ornaments that you check with the seller to make sure they use a certain kind of glue that when it gets hot and cold, it does not contract and break because I had a wreath before that they didn't use the right glue and the ornaments started falling off. So this seller absolutely uses the right glue and it's held up wonderfully. Now this is a new addition this year. I got this wonderful set off of Facebook Marketplace for next to nothing. The gentleman's parents had made it and they put it out in front of their house for many years. And when they passed away, he put it in front of his house and then decided he didn't want to do it anymore. So I brought it home. I clear coated it multiple times so that it holds up and we are looking good it just fits right around this bush saves me from having to put a ton of lights around it now this year we went a little bit lighter on the lights but than we usually do but next year i think we'll we'll get back at it these guys i picked up at an estate sale years ago they're great out here and that's about it for the outdoor stuff again we have a lot of the blow molds up closer to the house just because it keeps them out of the weather for the most part and also because we don't want anybody walking off with them and this guy's pretty big and he's fantastic and he just hangs out here hope you enjoyed this short little video of the outdoor decorations like i said next year we'll probably do a little bit more but as always feel free to like comment subscribe share with your friends and even though it's after Christmas, we still want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a good night.